Come Go night! This is really interesting stuff, this is. Just arrived at the school. We're one of the first ones here. It's actually my first sports day because um, I've always had to work, but Steve's always come to watch Nate. I'm so excited! Chloe singing. Steve's here as well in his work gear. He's going straight to work after. You okay, Chloe? Where's my son? Where? Now, where is he? I want him to see him. There he is. He's wearing a white t shirt with a red hat over there. Look, there he is running. Mate! Three, two, one, go! Go! Go, Sam! Come and eat your lunch. How long do you have? Uh, I don't know. I just came out, so probably like ages. How come you're one of the first? Huh? Oh, we're all Just on my way to Hobby Craft. Um, I need to pick up a glue gun because tonight the girls are coming over. We're going to do a bit of arts and crafts stuff for the wedding. We are going to make four bouquets for the bridesmaids and you know the buttonholes for the groomsmen. So we're going to make those. Uh, so I just need a few few bits for that and then obviously anything else that I can see that we might find useful for the wedding. Well these would be quite nice. I need a bit of gold for the uh, table at the reception. These. How do I print on them? Oh look at these. Look you got the signs. Mr and Mrs. Ah oh, here are the glue guns. Just need one of these. Do I have to buy the glue for it? I swear I could spend hours in that shop. I think I did actually. I think I, I was in there for about 40 minutes just looking at everything. I love arts and crafts stuff. The glue gun. <laughs> I picked up a glue gun and uh, this was a fiver and it had really good reviews. And then the glue sticks to go with it. And then I just got um, these tag thingies, plain tags and the uh, gold, I only needed the gold twine but I bought a pack and this was about maybe three pounds in total. I'm just going to do something with these for the bridesmaids so that's all I got uh, really but I did see the candle holders that I wanted because I wanted to add a little bit of gold um, on the tables at the reception. Morning guys, I'm just getting ready for my day. We're heading out for brunch. Uh, to meet our family from California who are back in London and um, we're going to take them to have a Turkish breakfast. Um, I've showed that before in the vlog so uh, hopefully they like it. Just making a smoothie before we go. What have I got in here? I've got strawberries, mango, kale, spinach, half a banana, ginger, a bit of honey for sweetness. I know that's cheating. <laughs> and then ice and I'm just going to put a bit of water in that.
That's your choice though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so we've got another family day today. We're at my mum's house. Um, say hello. It's my cousin from California. It's their last day today. So this is our last get together before they leave. Say hello, Dad. Hello. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> That's my dad. Hello. You've never been on camera before. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing. We've got some food. Uh, got quite a few people coming over. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can feel the vibration. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Water balloon! Go big water balloon! Wait, MC, come! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leslie. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Having a wish. Having a wish. <laughs> what did you wish? A brand new car! Yeah, another man! <laughs> ah, okay, now I'm on the, uh, the other side. It's alright. Morning everyone. I've had a very productive morning this morning. Um, I've been buying more bits for the holiday, things that we'd need. A lot of it is for Chloe. <coughs> I'm just trying to be as prepared as possible. But what I wanted to show you today is um, Chloe's now five months, so uh, she's now, I've started giving her solid foods. And now I'm bringing out this machine that I use for Nathan which I thought was so helpful and so amazing, so I wanted to show you. So this is the, um, the Bieber Baby Cook. It's a three in one, so you can steam the vegetables in there, and then once they're steamed, it has a blade inside so you can process the food, and it also warms up food, so it's a really handy machine. It made making food for Nathan so much easier. So I've just fished it out of the shed, and I'm gonna give everything a good old wash so god I don't know what these are so I can start cooking for Chloe. I'm a bit late to the game because she's already five months. <laughs> I've just been giving her baby rice for the last month and so I've, I've let her taste certain foods like she likes watermelon and strawberries. Oh no, I've just taken it apart and I've noticed on the blade if it will focus a little bit of rust. Can I still use that? This is really interesting stuff this is, <laughs> look. Um, you know earlier when it was all rusty, God look how spotless it is now. Oh, I just got a bit of foil and then scrubbed all that rust off and then I've been soaking this and the other bits in um, hot water with loads of salt and Look how shiny that's come out. It looks like it's brand new. Busy day I've had today. We're now in Toys R Us just picking up a present for one of Nathan's school friends. And uh, you know how kids walk into the shop and say, oh, can I, can I get something, blah, blah. <laughs> well, I told Nathan, I said, no, not today, but what you can do is you can take a picture and put it on your Christmas list. So that's what he's doing now. Good tip for parents. I have 100% want this one. Okay, take a picture then. I look like a crazy person right now. <laughs> Just wanted to give you an update. It's day five after Nathan used this allergy reliever and 
it doesn't seem to have done anything. He's still getting a blocked up nose in the evening. He's still getting itchy eyes. Um, so on the box, it doesn't actually say how often you're supposed to use it or if you can use it more than once. So I'm gonna give it one more go tonight and see if it's going to have some sort of effect. Otherwise, unfortunately, this didn't work for us, so we're gonna just do it again tonight. Guess what? My mum was so crazy because of what they done to my knee. She used electric tape to, <laughs> to make the... We didn't have a plaster. <laughs> to make the cotton wool stay on my bleeding leg because it keeps bleeding and I can't be bothered to hold it, so she just put <laughs> electric tape <laughs> on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> that does not get old. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> Hold it there. I'm so pleased with it. <laughs>